Today I'm going to show you how to do dynamic division using the Montessori stamp game. And this is division with a remainder. So we have 6,174 divided by 5. And we'll start by building our dividend. So 6,000s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 100, 7 tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now our divisor tells, up, tells us how many um, groups we're going to divide these stamps into, okay? So in this case, it's five. And again, I don't have the little Skittles um, in the, uh, for the Montessori stamp game. I just have these for now, these little um, two-sided markers. So I'm gonna use those. So one, two, three, four, five. And these are a little bit close together. I wanna make sure they all fit in the frame, okay. So we are going to start, as always, with our biggest number. So each one of these little guys gets a thousand. And I can see there's one thousand left over, okay? And I can't, it's not fair, I can't just give it to one. So um, because I don't have enough for each, I need to exchange that one thousand for ten hundred. So let's put that back and count it out. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And normally I would keep these more um, separated. Um, actually, typically I would do this um, vertically, but they're just to have room in the frame, I'm doing it horizontally. Okay, so now we'll put them together and give each one a, a equal amount. Okay. And again, we have 100 left over and we can't just give it to one, that wouldn't be fair. So we need to exchange 100 for 10 tens. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I keep it separate again to make sure they don't get mixed up with what we already had. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, now we can put them together and distribute them. Okay, so each one of these gets a ten. And we'll keep going until they're all gone. Uh-oh. Okay, so this time there's enough for two of them to get a 10, but that doesn't work. We have to have it get an equal amount for each one. So we're going to do two exchanges. I'll exchange this for this 110 for 10 ones. Let's do that first. So one, two, three, four, oops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let me sure make sure I have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We'll put those together. And I'm actually going to move it off to the side a little bit. And then we're going to exchange this 110 again for 10 ones. And again, we'll keep it separate. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so let's put them all together. And now we can give each one an equal amount of ones. So one here, here, 
and we'll just keep going until they're all given out. And I like to go down the line like this to make sure I haven't given any one more than the other because like siblings or friends, if one gets more candy or something than the other, it's bound to make someone unhappy. Okay? So, oh, uh-oh. So look at what's happened. We have one, two, three, four, five ones here, here, here and here, but this last one, one, two, three, four, only gets four. And we can't have that because this one would be very unhappy if its friends or siblings got more. So these are left over. We can't exchange them for anything. So we call that the remainder. Okay, so let's record this. And ooh, we do not have a whole lot of room here, do we? I'm gonna move this down. So remember our answer is how much just one of these gets. So here we have 1,000. Let's record that here. Two hundreds. We'll write that here. Three tens. One, two, three, four ones. And what's left, remember we call that a remainder, I can just put a little tiny R, and I have one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna put a little four here, okay? So my answer to 6,174 divided by five equals 1,234 remainder four. And I would typically have this remainder um, a little bit more organized. I'm squishing it to keep it into the frame. All right, and that is how you do dynamic division with a remainder using the Montessori stamp game.